Hey Todd, Aaron here with uh, Lamford Sales in Camrose, Alberta. Uh, doing a video walk around for you of the 2024 F-150 Lariat with the 3.5 liter power boost engine. I'll showcase the uh, features on this vehicle, including the refreshed features for 2024 model year. Uh, to start, we'll talk about the color here, avalanche gray, as we mentioned. I've got a white F-150 in behind as a color comparison because even as I film this video, it looks pretty darn close to white on screen. That being said, it is a muted out gray tone, kind of reminds me of the uh, colors that Toyota had in the 2010s. And paired with the chrome accents, I think it looks pretty darn sharp. So you've got chrome with the bumper, mirror caps, door handles, and then in the redesigned grill. Also part of this redesigned grill are the integrated headlights here. They've also changed the C-clamp design, so you've got, uh, still has that C clamp design uh, LED signature lighting there that runs in through to the fog light. Uh, LED fog lights with the cornering light function and these headlights as well are of course LED. Uh, in the grill here you have what's called active grill shutters. Uh, these are an automatic function that will open and close to maintain engine temperature. I'll show it to you right now as I remote start the vehicle. They'll close, they'll open slightly, and then they'll find their ideal position there. Then as I turn the vehicle back off, they'll go back to their home resting spot. So those guys will once again do that autonomously throughout your driving experience to maintain engine temperature, but to also improve the aerodynamics. Tying into the aerodynamics of the vehicle would be your chin spoiler here. And if you follow me, there's the spoiler here, but there's also another chin spoiler right here. This guy will drop down at highway speeds uh, to force the air further below the truck and once again improve those aerodynamics. Now looking at the uh, features at the front of the vehicle, I've got uh, some front recovery points there. I've got front parking sensors. I have a front facing camera underneath the redesigned Ford logo. Uh, that front facing camera will tie into your 360 camera. And then for the rest of the cameras, they all live up top. So right underneath that Ford logo there, that camera will control your uh, lane centering function as well as your automatic high beams. Uh, and then hidden in the grill here, you actually have an adaptive cruise control radar. Uh, so if you're not familiar with that feature, I'll showcase that to you a little bit on the inside of the truck. When they redesigned the trucks uh, in 2017, I believe it was, uh, they also redesigned the hood, so they made these guys a little bit more aerodynamic. The air is supposed to scoop off this hood and bounce off of the redesigned mirrors here. You do have some functioning air vents here, stylized in chrome. Uh, side view mirror here, you've got blind spot information. And then you also have a little bit of a halo that runs along that mirror. That's for an automatically uh, dimming function that the mirror has. Intelligent access, so I can lock the doors and unlock the doors by simply maneuvering the handle here. Uh, another way of entering the vehicle would of course be your key fob, right? You've got uh, remote start capabilities on this guy. Uh, and then you have your Ford keypad there. We already have black gator flaps on this truck. Sorry about this. We have black gator flaps on the truck already. You have uh, platform running boards as well. Long box configuration with the FX4 package for an off-road tuned suspension. Another part of the redesign were these uh, LED tail lights here. Uh, and your blind spot information radar is actually that uh, red box at the very bottom. The vehicle is equipped with a tow haul package. You have your uh, backup camera that lives right here. And then this guy right here is uh, for your zone lighting function. So that guy will tie into the zone lights on your side view mirrors, as well as your headlights. Um, and will allow for you to light up different quadrants of the truck when parked. Being a power boost, it does have the Pro Power on board. Uh, I believe this guy is at 2.4 kilowatts coming at the rear end. Sorry, I lied to you, 7.2. Um, you've got your 
It's 240 volt outlet at the top, and then you've got two sets of 120 volt outlets as well. You have LED box lights right here. And then you've also got your box link cleat system. So that guy uh, right here. Tie downs in all four corners of the truck as well. You do have the bed utility package that comes with the box set. And super easy to store this guy. As we approach the passenger side of the truck, it's an awful lot like the driver's side, just minus the steering wheel. And stay tuned for part two as we hop inside the truck and show you some more features.